In fact, there's a shelter in place in order right now after a couple windows broke on a high rise. This is video here. And yeah, glass fell from a famous building there on Kearney and California Street. And that is where we find Crown 4 Sarah Stinson, who is live. Boy, Sarah, so dangerous to you know just be walking on the sidewalk during this storm. That's right, and that's why I'm wearing a, a hard helmet because when I got here, fire crew said, hey, do you have a helmet, especially when you're walking around this area? We're talking about glass that fell from the 43rd floor and came crashing down in the street here. There's still glass in the roadway and also a shelter in place for businesses that are still in the office as well as an evacuation for cars and pedestrians in these streets. Take a look at the video. You can see one of the windows in question here. So one window broke, broke from the frame and that glass came crashing down. The other window is cracked, both on the 43rd floor. So dangerous. I just saw a video of the moments that glass was falling. People were in the street when it came down, but thankfully no injuries. And uh, 911 calls came in about this, about this falling glass on California Street around two Tuesday afternoon. And when the fire and police departments got here, they found one broken window on the 43rd floor and then they found another cracked one. But this is a 52 story high rise located at 555 California Street and just a very scary situation. In the words of the fire department, a very unique situation, not something they've seen before. Really, glass was actively falling into the ground as fire first responders arrived and fire crews immediately issued evacuations for the streets, uh, the four blocks that surround. 555 California and then put that shelter in place for the businesses here because keep in mind this is two o'clock very much in the middle of the work day the building management for 555 California started helping the fire crews they helped them quickly respond showed them what window was the issue and then they're going around the building and ensuring more stability an additional window uh, that was cracked the fire department is saying that is po posing a threat to the Pine Street side of the building but again no injuries let's hear from the fire department spokesperson Jonathan Baxter. Uh, one window did break out of its frame and it did fall to the ground and another one is cracked. This is something that is unusual, but we're also experiencing highly unusual weather. The streets are evacuated. For the buildings surrounding this area, we have a shelter in place and we're working on an evacuation process safely with guardians in uniform to get people out of the area safely. And that's what's happening right now. And you can see people behind me walking. That's only because you can walk around the taped off area. Again, not recommended because there is still a threat that another window could break or the cracked window could break and glass could come down. So that's why they're making sure no one goes past these this yellow tape. We've seen people do it. Don't do it. You will get a stern talking to for the fire department. Another note from the fire department is if you have a non life threatening weather issue, you need to call 311, not 911. The dispatch system has been completely bombarded by non life threatening injuries, and they're just trying to make sure they can get to those life threatening injuries. Now, okay, guys, I just want to tell you. Uh, Grant and Vicky, the people who are getting out of work right now, as you heard, they're going to be escorted out and they're told to go away from the yellow tape and it's going to be hard for people. I can't see the traffic. I've heard the traffic. I've heard people honking. Very chaotic situation that surrounds this blocked off area as people try to get home from work. I'm Sarah Stinson reporting live in San Francisco. Back to you. What a mess, Sarah. Yeah.